Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to use the union all operator in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will write a query to combine two result sets or more than two result sets into a single result set using the union all operator in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server instance and I got a database, a SQL database and in that particular database, I got two tables. Uh, one is the names table so I can maybe select some data from this one so in this particular database I got some data from the names table and we got names to table as well okay so if I execute these particular queries so they contain some names okay so the first table contains four records and the second table contains two records okay now suppose if I want to combine the data from these two tables then what options I have so either I can use the union operator or I can use the union all operator as well okay so in this particular video I will talk about the union all operator and then maybe I can create another video like what is the difference between the union and union all in SQL server so here we will use the union all operator to combine the data from the two tables into a single result set and then maybe you can just create the third table using the final result set to combine the data how we can use the union all operator we can just put union all in between these particular queries and now if I execute this query then this will combine the data from the two result set into a single result set alright so let me execute the query so now you can see that the data from the two different tables got merged into a single result set here okay so the thing is it's not necessary that we can just use the union all just to combine the two result set we can also use the union all to combine the multiple result sets into a single result set okay so suppose if I want to combine the data from another source as well so I can use union all here as well union all and then I can put another statement here so suppose I can maybe just hard code another value like I can use a test value here test and the date of birth is 2000 okay and uh, 0101 and the age can be 23 okay so if I want to combine the data like from this first result set and then from the second result set and from the third result set so I'm just combining the data from three different queries into a single result set so I can just put union all between all the select statements so if I execute this one then it combine the data from all different result set into a single result set okay so how union all works it actually just combine the data without checking for any duplicate value so for example if there can be a record in this particular table that exists in the second table as well or in the third table as well so it doesn't look for the duplicate records it just combine the data together okay so this is how the union all works and I will share the create table statement and the data for the names table names to table and i will also share this query as well so that you can use it in your environment as well yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much